Hello, all you wonderful people out there. It's Denise, and we are in Nuka World at the new Red Rocket settlement. And I've been working over here on a couple of Raider house designs, and I wanted to show them to you to get some feedback and see what y'all think. So um, I'll be showing you that, plus a couple of the, well, like four new robots I built also that came with the New World DLC. So um, I guess if anyone does not want to be spoiled, you probably shouldn't watch this video. So um, it was really difficult to, to try to get my, my Raider jive on or what, whatever you want to call it because I'm so used to doing things up pretty so I, I was really trying to embrace my inner junky side so I really tried to just junk these up and make them look as junky as possible but still able to be lived in um, so, you know so they could still um, use them so um, yeah, that's. Uh, I wish I would have got the new the new stuff with the DLC when you when you become a raider. I think you have to unlock the wasteland warlord perk to get the rest of the stuff. So maybe they will let us have that stuff later on. Um, but uh, that did kind of make me sad because as a builder, you know, we're missing out on on quite a few things there that we can use in our settlements. So. Anyways, uh, let me just get get on started here. I I did a a real funky looking house here. Um, if there's Nothing no man, rhyme work. or reason to it, that really. I just wanted it to look like something a raider, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a raider would build. <laughs> so um, let's just get started here, and let me show you what I did <laughs> take you on the outside of it first this is this is just one design I did another design on the other side and the guy that farms this sleeps on the bottom and then um, the lady in the drugstore sleeps on the top there and then this other random person, I don't know, I guess they had one extra food they could work on, so they came over here to to work on it, I guess. But there's really only supposed to be one gardener over here, so I must have did my food unevenly or something. So I sunk this building into the ground by using the group select and parts of it were still floating because the ground is uneven and I didn't use any concrete foundation. So to hide the fact that it was floating just a little bit, I just kind of junked up the outside with, with this stuff and, um, you know, fit some random stuff in there to make, try to junk it up a little bit more like this conduit and this logic gate and um, you know glitching in a water pump um, this still counts as water whether they can use it or not but some more spikes um, uh, just stuff like that uh, Raider spike poles um, as supports instead of using the other ones because the other ones look too neat in my opinion so I'm just uh, trying to go with the Raider theme here. Um, all these little trashy looking branches are from the dead plants. I just sunk them into the ground. Um, I showed that on, on I believe, my storefront video uh, from Covenant. Like, the first time I showed it was on there. And it can really be handy. I think it really helped with junking up some of the parts or some of the around the buildings and whatnot it makes it just look like it's overgrown and and old and I put the one baby generator back here because it could power the whole the whole place mm -hmm. 
And I really, with the Raiders, I used a lot of the um, stuffed, uh, stuffed, um, the taxidermy stuff. Um, especially like the ghouls and the death claw and the and the bear heads. And no settlement is complete without some mannequin's head in a trash can. <laughs> I took these signs, put them on a Bethesda made item, and did a group select, and then just sunk them into the ground. So only those certain words were showing that I that I wanted to um, show. You know, like the words warning, caution, keep out. You know, this is a raider place. I put a bar up there, going through those um, animals' heads, just because I thought, you know, it looked a little bit more sinister. Got some weapons up there. This grilled nuke alert. I, I wish they had more. I wish those enemies respawned. Um, I must say that's the one of the prettiest foods in the game. <laughs> it's so colorful, and I didn't realize it till I actually made some and then dropped it on the ground. And I was like, wow, that's that's pretty, and you can actually eat it. <laughs> Also, the um, all of the gator claw hides. I wish those those enemies respawned too, at least well in a different spot, at least so we could farm them. Their hides and their claws are really colorful, like a colorful green and black. And I wish we could just you know keep farming them for their for their items. This chair is totally gross. Like when Nick sits in it, it looks really disturbing. <laughs> With that blood, blood bag underneath there. And uh, since raiders are kind of dumb, I turned a picture backwards because it seems like something a raider would do. So this is the back of a picture. And he's got his to-do list. Of course, it's out of order. His to-do list is to loot and guns, guns, guns. <laughs> so you can tell how intelligent they are. <laughs> Just about as intelligent as a super mutant. Got a little random spotlight. I never use these things, so I thought I'd just stick one up here and shine some light so they can see if any enemies are coming. Now, I don't plan on building a wall around this place. It's just too big, and it eats up too much of the um, frame rate. So I'm just going to build uh, dot little buildings around the perimeter and... Um, put my defenses like on the roof or or something like that so here's one of our drug dealers mm -mm. our drug people she's got a really small um, you need fixing up. place in here you. gonna pass let me know if that changes and I dressed her up in the um, pack uniform and she's part of the pack, so she I, um, tried to keep with the theme on decorating with what what they have. Uh, she just sleeps on the floor because that's what raiders do. <laughs> just a little bit of decoration here. 
I really hate this buff out. It It is so unfriendly to junk decorate with. I mean, even though no one goes near it or anything, every time I come back up here, <clears throat> excuse me, all the buff out is messed up. Everything else is fine. It's just the buff out. It's like someone just stuck their hand in there and rubbed it around or something. So I'm kind of afraid to even like walk past it because it's like, Just stuck some plants back there and an extra light. Um, what was weird about this build was these glass pieces just fit in here really nicely. Um, I think I only had to glitch one in, but the other ones just snapped in. Of course, that one snapped in a little bit off center, but um, that was fine because I could hide it with all this other stuff. Um, So yeah, I thought the glass up there to kind of even out the the gapage that I had and I just added the mesh ceiling there to to also help with that um, gap. But there's glass all the way up so I probably could have added more on the inside there but I was afraid I'd bump my head on it so I just left it. Really the only gap is that one right there. And that's fine because, you know, that still fits in with, you know, what a raider would make. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> Alright, so, um, that is the, or, well, this is the first one that I made. And I've just got everyone dressed up in, you know, like I alternated, like, when a settler would show up, I'd put like one of them in a pack outfit, one of them in an operator outfit, and one of them in a you disciples outfit. So I'm just trying to alternate oh, between the three, um, the three groups there. <clears throat> now, um, all this is right now, oh, and these doors snapped in here just fine because this isn't like the red rocket back in the Commonwealth where you had those sliding doors. So all these doors just fit right in here. I just went ahead and put domestic looking doors on there because I think I'm just going to keep this to where it's, you know, a sleeping place. And maybe I'm going to put Nira in here um, with her little scavenging station because she's not really... Um, a fighting robot she's more just for looks this is gonna be my like my workshop and then I'll do a separate workshop for the settlers slash raiders so yeah pretty much everyone stays out of this building because there's nothing in there for them to mess around with really we've got um, one two three four five six seven cats going on right now and I think that's what I'm gonna keep it at. I'm not gonna put try to do any more cats. I might do a couple more dogs. We've got the you know the three set of dogs from the Far Harbor guy, and then I did some extra junkyard dogs because <clears throat> I'm gonna be uh, building some more custom dog houses that look kind of raidery. And um. You know, just temporarily, I've got all the shops lined up here with everyone already assigned to him. Here's Nira. Um, she's not the original Nira. Obviously, I had to kill Nira in order to get her parts to build her. So, um, yeah. She's really cute. I couldn't... Um, she was part of the raider group, and I think they programmed her to be hateful that way. So, I went ahead and killed her since I killed all the raiders and um, so it worked out fine and then here's the Mr. Frothy guy <clears throat> now for whatever Actually, reason I was able to change the color of his legs but when I watched the tutorial on how to build him um, they weren't able to change the color so I was able to at least make his legs red which made me happy to try to match his the rest of his body but Nira, I tried to put her in pink, but her color wouldn't change. And so, <clears throat> just got a couple. Oh, this is the that guy, that wild dude at um, I think his name is Cito or something. 
I pickpocketed his outfit, it's called Wild Man Rags, and put it on her with some disciple armor, and I think she looks pretty cool. So that's just an example of, you know, stuff you can do to try to make your outfits and stuff look a little bit more interesting, which I'm trying to always do since I'm still not using mods. Here is the regular Galactron guy. And um, here's the space sentry. I don't know if you can see him all that well. But I've got them both um, guarding over here. And so yeah. Um, let's get on to the next building here. Hopefully everything is still good and no one has knocked over any of my junk items. <laughs> so I just put the defenses on the roof because um, that works well for protecting them and it works well for also the raider theme because it seems like that's something they would do because it's kind of, I guess, untidy or whatever to do that. I don't know. <laughs> um, so some of the dead dogs that, that um, well, some of the dogs that attacked the settlement, I just threw them in these bins to make it look a little bit more gross and raidery. Again, this was one that was just floating on this one side, so I used the junk fences to hide the fact that it was floating. And, you know, I never really have used junk fences before, but let me tell you, if you have never, if you're not used to using them, they are really hard to use with the rug glitch. Um, for people like Davey, you know, over at No Response, he uses them all the time, so he makes it look so very effortless in his videos because he's just used to um, using that particular piece. But since I'm not, you know, well versed in using the pieces, oh my god, it was just a nightmare to get them on the rug. And then I see now why so many people are always, you know, messaging him saying that the junk fences don't work on the rug glitch anymore. Well, it's just that it takes so long to get it on the rug the right way for it to pick up and um, I really found it very hard to work with these things I mean it just I, I don't know I mean it could have just been one of those things in the game where it just was not being friendly to me but you know it's, it's not like I was doing doing it incorrectly so I'm not sure what the issue was, but I just know I had a hard time with it. So, um, here's just, you know, junking it up again, sticking some random stuff in that, um, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I got a guy trying to use the bathroom. And he's really pushing hard, it looks like, because he's bent over and everything. Uh, yeah. So, I just put another of their plants over here where they're going to, um, farm. Again, the dude that farms lives in one of these, and then the lady that does the scavenging station lives in the other one. And I thought this was really yeah. cute because there's like this little pond here. And I am pretending like it's, you know, a little fishing spot. So, you know, I put some of the Far Harbor stuff with the fish and, you know, a little chair over here with the fishing pole. The fishing pole has disappeared, but that's all right. I have plenty. So someone could fish, you know, and I built a little bridge across. I just thought it was a, a, a cute little uh, piece to use to, um, you know, add a little bit more interest, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. I thought it looked cute, but I sunk in all these fences and put some candles in there. I even sunk some candles into the water so it would have maybe a glowing effect at, at night. So I guess we'll go in this one first.
And again, I sunk this one into the ground so you can see some of the ground is coming through the uh, floor, which again is fine with me because it just adds to the junkiness of, you know, the whole Raider theme. Uh, same with the junk fences poking through the wall. I don't have a problem with that because, again, it just adds to it being just junky. You know, and this person obviously likes their signs. They just stuck a bunch of junky signs up there. I took the wooden post and put this weapon rack on the bed. So they have that there if anyone tries to attack them while they're asleep or whatnot. They've got some handcuffs, which leads me to believe that they have some strange fetishes. And I really didn't know what to put on this shelf over here. I think the girl lives... I think I assigned the girl to this side. So I just put some stuff up here that maybe I thought a girl would put... Maybe she's stolen these or collected these over the wasteland and she stores some of her food in there or something. Um, again, broken chairs, some some of the Children of Adam bottles. Oh, and I think I put some bottles up there too. They glitched right into that centerpiece so I thought that would look pretty neat. So, um, yeah, that's, um, that one. Um, let's go over here, this one. There's her scavenging station. Oh, I think the girl's over here. Or maybe the boy's on the other side. Well, that's alright. Maybe she's, he lets her store some of her stuff on the other side. So this is an extra outfit she has. Um, again, I just took one of the dead dogs. Of course, it'll probably despawn, but I can always put some bones in there to make it look nastier or whatever. <laughs> Maybe some stuff that she's collected um, over the wasteland. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's got a little cooking station glitched in here to, to save space since these are such tiny little homes. She's got a little bit of food, some games, drugs, alcohol. She's got something to read here. got a strange kind of um, orgy going on. I don't know. <laughs> but they are in fire while they're doing it. So I wonder if there's some kind of message here to be... Hmm. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of a Dante's Inferno type thing. So, okay, yeah, that's what I've got so far, guys. Um, I that's hope you liked it. I, I love their outfits. They're so colorful and cute. Look at, they're just so colorful. So, um, I hope you liked it. I've got a trading caravan going on over there. And I will just keep um, trying to build this place up. I might even... Um, build the airship here to um, uh, to try to you know finish up that build. I've got so many things going on. So, um, anyways, uh, y'all take care, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.